These South Dakota lawmakers are hopping a bus for a special treat. They're about to ride North Dakota's energy trail. The uh, coal gasification plant it really uh, tweaks my curiosity. I'm looking forward to that visit. The group is touring the Antelope Valley Station, Great Plains Sin Fuels Plant, and the Freedom Mine. You know, you, we, we live in such a rural area and you don't realize the magnitude of, of like a basin, how big they are, where their footprint is, um, uh, and as a, as a cooperative, uh, how many people benefit from, uh, from the co-op. And, and Val Rausch serves the district where Basin Electric's Deer Creek Station is under construction and where another power plant has been running for decades. The one I have in my backyard is 30 years old, scheduled to do some major upgrades with the emissions, the new scrubbers. and uh, So I'm interested to look at and get the tour out here because I, I think I think they have already done that here in these power plants, the, the new technology. So The limestone that's going to be railed in. And I think understanding is always a trump card. At Antelope Valley Station, the group learns how electricity is made. Burn coal that gives us heat. That heat boils water, makes steam, the steam drives a turbine, the turbine drives a generator. And then they get to see the plant in action. Yeah, it's about 25, 2800 degrees in the boiler here, but I can still put my, it's hot, but I can put my hand on At the Freedom Mine, they get lots of pictures of equipment in action, and at the Synfuels plant, they marvel at the model that was used to build it. It's difficult to have an understanding of scale until you're standing at the base of the boiler or you're standing in the model room. South Dakota statewide general manager Ed Anderson says a tour like this has lasting effects. Every time that I've done one of these uh, legislators walk away from this, uh, this process uh, extremely impressed and with a much better understanding about how power generation process works. But before the lawmakers got to tour the power plants, they stopped here at Basin Electric headquarters where they learned about the issues our members are facing. I'm just curious to know how that might work. For the lawmakers heard from Basin Electric staff who explain how the cooperative develops generation, deals with transmission challenges, how the co-op looks financially, and how legislative representatives are tackling issues, like climate change legislation. I personally have a huge concern about the environment. I know it's very easy um, for people to cross their arms and start shaking their heads and, and act as if we, we should be offended with those people who want us to be responsible, but I honestly feel that, that we have to be responsible and the issue isn't going to go away, so I'm fascinated to learn about folks who are, are taking some initiative to try to be responsible environmentally. Nancy Turback Berry is glad she accepted this invitation. And I've always been a little bit inclined when issues about cooperatives came up to, to only half listen because my particular district wasn't immediately concerned and I probably was just a little less um, interested in co-ops than I maybe should have been. I'm so impressed with what I learned about the way co-ops work and the responsible leadership that they're taking that I think what I would say the most impressive thing to me is is the sort of the loyalty that you've been developing in me towards the co-op concept and especially as applies to energy co-ops. Roger Solem says more lawmakers should take this tour. Uh, we maybe have such a small group of people uh, you know, in our legislature, and I'm sure North Dakota is the same way, that really have the, the you might say, the technical expertise uh, to be able to talk about the issues. So, you know, a trip like this, uh, I, I feel it's part of my responsibility to take what we've learned here and share it with uh, those that haven't had the opportunity to come up here. Anderson says when he walks up to these lawmakers during the next session, he can explain less and discuss the issues more. And I had two from my group and two from the other group that took the time and made the point to come up to me today and say that was huge. I mean, that was really important to me. So, it's a success. For Basin Electric, I'm Tracy Battenhausen.